Across the region, different countries have expressed concern about the World Bank doing business report. Analysts, however, argue that the methodology changes in the ranking process make it even easier to establish a proper base for the East African region's business environment. If you see the, the title of the report itself, it's uh, going beyond um, efficiency. It means it's not only numbers, but it goes up to the quality of the numbers. For any particular services, it's, they, they were assessing beyond uh, you know, the number of days it takes to get the service, but also the quality of service. So it ha it, this one has gone deeper than the previous report. Now, Teddy, one of the most significant outcomes is that Rwanda dipped from 72nd position to 112th position in terms of starting a business. Now, just recently, we got the B plus rating, which means that our environment is conducive to start a business. How do you think this will affect potential businesses? Uh, I don't think it will affect because, in fact, th there are some confusion when people read these kind of reports. It, this is a ranking of, of like almost 189 countries. So if you, you rank higher or lower, it doesn't mean a lot if you don't see the, 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 the scoring itself. But if you see the scoring, the scoring has gone up. So if you see how uh, countries follow, the country has uh, dropped. But if you see the points, let me call the max, they have gone up. And the other thing is, you see, it's a competition and countries are assessed. So if at all you didn't, f for this particular time, there was not like much reform done, but other countries maybe have done so much than you, then they can go, they can surpass you. But it doesn't mean a lot in terms of uh, trusting an economy. No, it have nothing with trusting an economy. All right, and now the countries in the EAC have also been facing the same problems where they see that there was a change in methodology, that there were a bit of technicalities. Now, different countries have different ways of operating businesses. How do we go on now, given this uh, report and given the disparity in how each country in the EAC conducts their business? I think if you see different discussion happening in the in EAC community, even in the business environment, they are trying to harmonize different processes. So uh, don't be surprised if in the near future we have some treaties on, on how to conduct business and harmonize. Then all the countries will have like similarities. And then reduce some processes. So you can, if at all anything is coming in the ESC, if it's, it's done in one country, it can be applied. So you, for instance, if you are importing product, you do it once, one stop border, and then it is done. You can move within the community very easily. Uh, maybe something uh, I can say, uh, being a new, not a new, but uh, you know, it, being a report with a new methodology and some additional indicators, I'm not surprised countries are complaining and people are, are, are misunderstanding the results. It's normal. I'm sure next year, because people will be used to those indicators, we'll see a, a big change and, and people will perceive it positively.